It's not all smiles on the high seas. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 One Piece moments that'll make you cry. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sora. For this list, we're going to be looking at the scenes across this hit shonen that had both the characters and the audience weeping, either from jubilation or utter depression. Well, As always, you can catch me on Twitter story, at AshJFo, so head over there, give it's me a follow, close. let me know what your favorite One Piece moment is. Number 10, The Death of Fisher Tiger. While known as a brutal fishman <laughs> with a going? hatred for humanity, the actions of the leader of the Sun Pirates turned out to have profound consequences not only for the future of various uh, side characters like such as Hancock X, and Koala, but also entire species. After a misunderstanding left him mortally wounded, Tiger's only chance of survival was a blood transfusion of human blood. But he refused because of his deep-rooted prejudice, given his history as a slave of the Celestial Dragon. <laughs> However, in a final act to break the cycle of hatred, he begs his companions to keep the nature of his death a secret and not seek revenge, all in the hope of a better tomorrow. <laughs> Number 9, Luffy vs Sanji. Fights between friends are always unpleasant, oh. but this brawl in particular Damn. was downright heartbreaking Damn. for a plethora of reasons. Forced into up, marriage by the demand of his vile family, Sanji broke off from the Straw Hats to protect those he cared for. <laughs> Naturally, being the stubborn rubber band that he is, Luffy wasn't going to take that lying down. Caught between impossible situations, Sanji was forced to battle against his captain as a last means of getting him to back off, only for Luffy to take each blow without resistance. Oh, if you thought watching crazy. Luffy get a flaming foot to the skull was tough to watch, just wait until you see Sanji break down afterwards. Don't let Zoro seen this shit. Mm. Number eight, Robin's past. Mm. Possibly the biggest example of how the world government and its marines can overshadow even the worst pirates in terms of villainy. The destruction of Robin's home via the Buster Call was catastrophic, and all because her tribe were inching closer to learning more about the Void Century. As the only survivor of such a senseless massacre, you'd think it would be enough trauma, but no. After learning of her existence, the world government did what it did best and spread propaganda, turning an innocent victim into a hated criminal that even strangers shunned at every turn. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, asking for help. For the longest time, Nami had been a lone thief, tricking and manipulating everyone she could in order to get her hands on all the golden booty possible. Of course, this took on a whole new dimension when it was revealed she was gathering all this treasure in order to buy her town's freedom from Arlong and his cronies. <laughs> Things were made all the worse when her stolen goods were taken and Olung forced her to start from scratch, bringing her to the end of her tether, first stabbing her tattoo in blind grief before finally asking Luffy tough. to help her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seeing her brought to her lowest point Best. is truly less, a Nami. tragic sight. It. Big dog got it from here. Don't worry about it. Hold my hat. Number six, the death of Whitebeard. When you talk about OG pirates, none come larger and more respected than Edward Newgate. 
famous not only for his inhumane strength, but treating all of his crew like family. Whitebeard was the last bastion of the Golden Age of Pirates, until his legend finally came to an end during the bitter confrontation at Marineford. <laughs> Suffering countless wounds at the hands of the Admirals and his treacherous former ally Blackbeard, Pops may have ultimately lost his life, but that doesn't take away from the fact he died standing up after announcing to the world that the One Piece is real. One Piece wa... <laughs> This guy even jumps off the model coil like a boss. <laughs> Number five, Cherry Blossoms. He may have been a quack doctor, but the dream of Chopper's surrogate father was still a beautiful one. To cure the frozen hearts of the citizens of Drum Island with Sakura petals, despite the whole area being submerged in snow. <laughs> Following on from their victory against the tyrant King Wapple, Hirinuk's dream is finally made a reality, thanks to Kuriha yeah, and the Straw Hats not only ushering in a new oh, age no, of peace for the oppressed five. masses, this but lighting up the whole Robin island over in cherry scene. blossoms. Over this scene for sure. Throwing Chopper crying his eyes out at such a scene, and you have the making of a fairy tale ending. Arigato, Yoko, Chopper. No! Number four, I want to live. Mm. While this is a triumphant moment as opposed to a saddening one, oh, it's sure to get the waterworks going all the same. Right as she's set to be dragged to the gates of justice for execution, Robin is shocked to see that the Straw Hats have invaded Eni's lobby to free her, even willing to openly declare war on the world government for the sake of their friend. Utterly overcome that people would risk their lives for her, for the first time in her life, Robin starts to value herself, screaming for her comrades that she wants to live and go to the sea with them. Number three, Goose Law and Corazon. No, Just when you'd thought the backstories okay. of the big players in the modern three. pirate world couldn't three. get any sadder, along comes the surgeon of death and his past that's bad.